One way or the other, they will get done his way. Donna Stone was married to David years ago and is the mother of David Stone Jr., who investigators say was the explosives instructor for the group. I don't think they're dangerous. They're not doing anything wrong. They're doing what they want to do. Uh, if they wanted to do something, they would have already done something. They follow what, what the leader tells them to do, which is the head honcho. The group includes David Stone Sr., his two sons, his wife Tina Stone, and several others. Federal investigators say group members plan to kill a member of law enforcement after a traffic stop or during an ambush or making a false 911 call to lure law enforcement to them. Once the murder was complete, they then planned to attack the funeral procession to kill even more people with explosives considered to be weapons of mass destruction. The indictment also alleges that the group had gone so far as to identify a particular member of law enforcement they wanted to target. And they planned a covert reconnaissance exercise for April where anyone who did not agree to Hutari demands could be killed. David Sr. did this, yeah, he has a right to be punished for what he did, but he drags... He drags my son into this and it's wrong. Because he's not David's. He's not David's son. He's my son. And David Jr. has followed along with his father because he always does it. Most of the suspects are from Michigan, but three are from Ohio and Indiana. They face a number of different charges, everything ranging from attempting to use weapons of mass destruction to conspiracy. By the way, the suspect who is still on the loose, his name is Josh Stone. He's 21 years old from Clayton, Michigan, and he's one of the sons of the ringleader in all this, David Stone Sr. Live downtown, Michael Rosenfield, Channel 7 Action News. Carolyn? Ma Michael, i got to ask you a question from the video. This looks like some serious training going on, uh, you know, serious weapons. Do any of these guys have a military background? Do we know how they learn so much about weapons of mass destruction and explosives? We're not sure exactly how they've learned about all this, but they have been around for a while, and they do have, it seems to be, a substantial following, at least in southern Michigan. And because they're online, we're not sure how far their reach really is and where they're attracting followers from. But they're pretty organized. They had a ranking system within the organization. They had code words and nicknames. So they've been around for a while and seem to uh, have this anti-government approach going on for quite a while. All right, Michael. Well, I know we're going to continue to follow this story to the end. Thank you much. We'll talk to you later. Dave? And we are learning more about the Hutari and their beliefs. Our Team 7 coverage continues now with ABC's Dan Harris. In this video posted on their website, the Hutteri, who say Jesus is their, quote, top general, are seen prowling the woods with camouflage and weapons. On their site, the group declares, we believe that one day there will be an Antichrist. All Christians must know this and prepare. They go on to say that we are prepared to defend all those who belong to Christ and save those who aren't. They believe that this is the end of the world as prophesied by the Bible, and it's their duty to take up arms to fight alongside Jesus against the uh, impending forces of Satan. Over the weekend, federal law enforcement officials launched massive raids apparently against the Huttery in Michigan, Ohio, and Indiana, although they're not yet saying why. Obviously, someone's got a source or a wiretap or intel's coming to them in some form or fashion to trigger, all right, we're not going to let these guys take one step further in this operation. We're going to take them down. Michael Lacamar, a spokesman for the Southeast Michigan Volunteer Militia, says several members of the Huttery showed up at the doorstep of one of his colleagues in the militia movement shortly after the raid. They were uh, asking for a place to hide, as it were, and he just, he wasn't willing to... Uh, assist them in that manner. Lacamar says that while his group has trained with the Huttery, the Huttery are not truly part of the militia movement. We're community-based. We're willing to accept anybody that lives among us that wants to protect themselves, their neighborhood, wants to help out in times of emergency. By contrast, he says the Huttery are more like a cult. For law enforcement, going after a group like this can be very risky. This crowd tends to be heavily armed, and they, they're all conspiracy theorists that the government's trying to take over. And so you have to be very careful and cautious when you start arresting people like this, because you could walk right into an ambush. 
That's Dan Harris reporting. Stay with Action News and WXYZ.com for the very latest information on these FBI raids in southern Michigan.